How do you guys? It's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service coming at you on a video on Wargaming Trees. So guys, this video, as I've said, it's all about making some super realistic trees for your dios or wargaming. Now before I go on, this video isn't my idea. Um, I've been watching Luke Towen because he's just so good. <laughs> and I saw it, I thought, I want to do that, that looks relaxing. And I've done it, and I've proper enjoyed it, and you get some really nice results. As in really nice results. So. I thought I'd take you through how I did it. I do things a little bit different to look, but not much, not much at all. Um, but the only thing I will do before I go on with this video is the material that I use in this video is finely foliage from Woodland Scenics. This stuff is friggin' expensive. You're able to make four trees out of a £15 box. The armature's a good value for money, but this stuff isn't. You're talking nearly 60 quid uh, if you're wanting to make 12 trees which is far too much money. I wouldn't ask anybody to do that. Now, I've actually, this is what goes on behind the scenes of Luke's APS. I buy things like this and have a play and then I go, how can I make it cheaper? So what I've done, I've ordered all the stuff and I'm gonna make this stuff so you can make these really nice trees at about 152 pound a tree, which is good for a good realistic tree, okay? When you start looking at prices of buying them. So a tree like that would sell for about 15 pounds up to 20 quid in some places so building them myself for 152 pound at, and it only takes an hour i did all three in about two and two hours so saves time batch building so i'll show you how to make that in future videos so before you go out and buy like a box or two of this it doesn't go very far and you don't want if you made the money fair enough but wait till i do the video on how to make this stuff and then we'll uh, we'll make some really nice trees together and in the future videos when i make them i'll show you me using my own stuff not this not this shite Right, let's get on to making some trees. I'll catch you in a bit. Right, so the trees uh, are basically just tree armatures from Woodland Scenics. For the money, you, you can't go wrong with these. They're, they're just the right size. I mean, seven inch tall for the big ones and five inch for the smaller ones. And there's some little ones as well that you can get that's 28 foot same. Right, now we need to get them nasty mould lines off the tree. Um, I use the uh, GW mould line removers just because it's the I, I can do it with this, I can't do it with a knife, I always seem to cut into the model. Um, as, a, as you know, bit of a bit of a modelling nightmare when it comes to all that at me. But anyway, um, you don't really have to take it off the trunk because we will be retexturing that. Where it matters is up the actual top of the trunk, uh, like you see me going in between each branch. That's where it's more important because you are going to be seeing that bit. Maybe not all of it, but just spend a bit of time and it makes a massive difference to the realism of the tree. Next up, it's just a matter of mixing up some texture in the uh, whatever you want to call it, texturing putty. <laughs> All it is is just wood filler um, uh, or wall filler, spackle for you guys in the US. And I just put some PVA glue in it. This is just to make it, give it some el elasticity. Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, but literally you mix this together, it makes it a bit easier to apply to the trees as well. Okay, so give that a good mix, get it to a nice paste consistency uh, and then get it on your tree. Right, now uh, what I do for getting it on the actual trunk of the tree is I use like a, it's just a clay sculpting tool. I mean, you could use a lollipop stick, use whatever you've got, guys, your fingers if you really have to, um, or a brush. Now, literally just put this on quite thick. Now, what we're trying to do is make that trunk a bit thicker so it's not as not as weedy because they are quite weedy for wargaming um, they're a bit thin if you put a model at the side of it it, it it just doesn't look right so I'm adding about probably five mil all the way around the tree uh, but what you do is put it on really thick at the bottom and then feather it out towards the top uh, if you don't know what feathering is uh, it's just a matter of making it thinner as you go to the top so it blends so you don't have like a big thick piece and a, a shallow piece that's all so just make sure you make it blend well uh, and work from the bottom upwards Thank you. 
Right, so once it's nearly dry, um, don't let it dry guys, leave it about 10 minutes or so uh, and then check it. You need it to be firm, uh, holding its shape, but not gone off. Then what you need to do is get something like a cocktail stick or something like a green stuff tool that I'm using there or just something that's got like a little point in it so you can draw the lines in. Now if you can see what I'm doing, I'm not just drawing lines down, I'm actually poking it as I'm going down. It's just to add some inconsistency to the actual bark texture. Um, so it looks more organic rather than just lines in a tree. Alright? So if you if you do that you'll see more uh, natural results. Um, and if you if you pull a bit and break a bit off or all that, don't worry about it guys because bark does break on trees so it's organic, that's the best thing about doing something that's organic mistakes look better sometimes, okay? And then it's just a matter of priming them. Now I use my super cheap primers from uh, the paint factory. I use the grey primer on the, uh, the big trees and on the little tree that I'm working on I do a brown. Right, so on with painting, uh, I use Army Paint and Military Shader. Um, this is just a brown green uh, wash. Now literally we've got to do, get a wash brush uh, and then just bath it all over it guys. Uh, the reason we use a brown green is to make it look a bit more natural because if you look at like a birch tree they look white but then they've got like a greeny grey sort of finish underneath and that's why I like the green rather than going in with a black wash or something stupid like that. If you'd like to buy this wash set that I'm using as well you can always go through Geek Gaming for it. They sell it really cheap and you can get 10% off it with my uh, Luke's APS promo code as well because I'm going to be using quite a few of them washers in this video. Okay. I repeat the same process on the uh, brown tree with black wash, it's just to darken up the brown that's all. Right guys, so for painting I use like a brownie grey craft paint from the works, they're a pound each, they're great these, they've got a full range as well, um, so I suggest getting a couple for terrain. Uh, dry brush this all over the uh, tree and the reason we haven't bent it into shape or anything yet is just so it's easier to paint, okay? It's quite easy to get carried away, bend it into shape and then when you come to paint it, you, it takes a lot longer because it's all all over the place when when it's flat it's easy to paint all right guys so take that from me because the first one I did I, I got a bit excited <laughs> okay right so your second color is white um, the reason we use pure white and no other color is because you leave the color from the original color on your brush all right um, put that in the white what that does is it softens the actual color so you can go on uh, and dry brush that on your tree now um, and as you as you dry brushing that on um, you've got like a nice contrast from the original colour to a brighter colour and all you've got to keep doing is go into the white and the more you go to the white the more it pure, makes it purer white so you get a, a really nice easy blend up to a nice light tree colour that looks natural rather than being too um, just too white and too contrasting And now it's the fun bit, let's bend that tree, <laughs> let's get a good bend in. Uh, all you've got to do guys is bend the, the branches flat first to start with, that's what I find easiest. Um, so get them all twisted and bent to how you like. Once you've done that, grab the top uh, in smaller sections and then twist it so it like corkscrews it. And as you corkscrew it you'll get your, your trees flaring out how you want. Now once I've bent them, I get my strong tone wash from uh, Army Painter again um, and literally all I do with this is I paint it on in areas, I don't bath it all over, I pick out just some darker areas where I want some richer bark texture, uh, it's like under branches, I draw it down as if it's like just darker older wood you see, so you'll see that what, what I mean as I'm doing it. Now 
Right, now on to the time-consuming task. Uh, this is finally foliage, which I mentioned at the beginning. This is what we're going to be using. All you've got to do is go in the box, break off some bits that you want and lay it out. Okay, it makes it far easier to use. Now, um, I advise putting some super glue on your finger before attaching these. Now, this is just so because super glue doesn't like sticking to itself. Okay, so you can put it on the fingers that you think you're going to be touching it with, uh, and that'll stop any sort of quick adhesion of the super glue to you and the branches. It stops you getting gobbed up in it all. Okay, now all you've got to do is put thick gel super glue on the branches. Uh, and then simply just attach them. What I like to do is find a branch and then follow the branch with the branches in the material, if that makes sense. <laughs> Try saying that fast. Um, and it just gives it a more realistic, nice look. Okay. Um, now, take your time with this. Don't just throw it on and get bored. If you believe it, if you're bored. Um, but literally, I find this so relaxing. Um, and it's the one of the most rewarding modeling things I do. I could do these for days um, Because when you finished it just looks so nice Now don't forget underneath, um, the reason we put it underneath one, it really thickens the tree out, okay? It depends on what look you're going for. If you're going to thicken them out, you are going to lose a lot of material, but they do look better. The three that I've actually done, I'm thinking about adding a bit, few more bits, um, which I can do in another video showing you how to thicken them out even more. Um, but literally just apply underneath as well to any sort of severe areas where it needs it. Um, and just really thicken it out and make it look like a nice lush tree. Right, so once you've spent about a good 35 40 minutes applying all that, you're left with this. I mean, look at how beautiful they are. Um, it makes you feel like you've done something creative. I mean, I, I love it. I mean, I've only made what four now, but I'm loving every minute of making them. Um, they're well worth the time and effort that's put into them. Um, and yeah, I'd be proud to put that in a woods or add them to a board or even a diorama. I think they're more for dioramas because they're not the strongest trees ever, but as you can see, they're just so pretty. Right, so you saw how simple but it is a little bit fiddly getting them branches on if you use a good super glue it adheres quite quickly or if you're good at balancing and then putting a bit of super glue over the top really makes it simple okay don't try using other bits of glue just make sure you've got some super glue on your fingers and it makes it far easier trust me the first one i made i had crap all over me i look like hulk with measles <laughs> and flock all over me um so get some super glue on your fingers, use super glue. I've tried PVAs, I've tried UOs, I've tried... Oh, it just looks a mess. Just use super glue, works a treat, okay? But anyway, guys, if you're wanting to buy the washers and everything, like I've said, brushes, uh, I am working with Geek Gaming to sort out a flock that I really like, that's a foam flock um, as well, so we're gonna be, that's all going to be happening, uh, so I can help you out with more terrain uh, supplies. You can get it 10% off through my affiliate below. Uh, I get a cut of that as well, which really helps me out. Saves me going to Patreon and asking for handouts. Um, and you're getting some at far cheaper because you get 10% off. Okay, plus he sells it one of the cheapest in the UK normally anyway. So this is why I chose the guy. But anyway, um, this is only for the UK. Anybody in the US, if there is somebody that watches me that is a, 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 a retailer in the USA, USA get in contact. Um, I'm sure if I can get an affiliate deal with somebody in the US, I can help out my US guys as well. So it pushes traffic to your website, helps me out, and it helps your shop out, and it helps the customers out as well because they're getting slightly cheaper because they watch my videos. So if you know anyone, 
send them over and I'll have a chat and see if I can sort that out for you as well. Okay guys, so thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're liking the new style of video. Uh, it's a bit, bit more arty, me fighting about and trying different things. Um, quite a complicated video to film with it being the trees and taking so long. So I haven't done too much with a camera, it's been quite static most of it. Um, but it will get better, trust me. Uh, next video when I'm doing a few more bits, I'll try doing multi-camera shots and stuff. But I wanted to make sure I got these right because they are really nice. And especially using the gold-plated chuffing fine tree stuff that they sell you at Woodlands. <sighs> 15 quid for four trees. Get lost. Anyway, <laughs> I can't wait to show you how to make that stuff. It's so simple and it's really cheap. I think £10, well, probably 12 quid, and you can make 10 times that. All right, so I'm really excited for that video. Anyway, catch you again for the next video. I don't know when it is because I'm really busy, but it'll be less than a week anyway. All right, catch you in a bit.